Also continue to follow that developing news of an officer involved shooting along the Ansonia Derby town line. It happened just after seven this morning on Division Street. Derby police telling us a man and a teenager started banging on the window of a police cruiser saying they needed help. According to police, that's when the man pulled out a gun and allegedly started shooting at a car driving through the intersection. The Derby officer responded by shooting the suspect in the leg. Both local and state police detectives spent the day talking with witnesses and collecting evidence, including a small silver handgun. You could see it right there in this video. It was located in the street next to the sidewalk. Division Street is literally a dividing line between Derby and Ansonia. We have to travel on each other's roads to get from point A to point B. So it is a Derby officer in Ansonia, right on the town line, being investigated by the Connecticut State Police Major Crime. Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarland is alive at the scene. Matt, this seems like a, a very confusing, complex situation. What exactly led up to the shooting here? Yeah, Aaron, well, this is sort of the initial stages, and they say it's a preliminary investigation, so they can't give a lot of information out. But uh, as you said, uh, police say that these uh, two folks approached them. They were in distress, uh, and they say that's when one of them started to open fire at a car that was passing by. We're told that car did stay on the scene, uh, did not leave. We're told uh, no one in the car was hit, so uh, that's what we know uh, in regards to uh, this uh, shooting that happened. Matt, when we talk about officer involved shootings, especially these days, a lot of people want to know about body cameras. Did this officer have one on? Well, no, the officer did not have one on, uh, and that's because uh, police here in Derby, they do not have uh, officer warrant body cameras. In fact, the chief says they are in the process, the permitting process uh, of getting them through a state grant, but they don't have body cameras here. They don't have dashboard cameras here as well. So uh, there won't be any video of this uh, altercation unless uh, some security video uh, surveillance cameras uh, are found in the area. And we've seen police uh, going door to door uh, talking with witnesses early today. But again, uh, no body cameras here for the Derby Police Department. Coming up tonight at 5, uh, you're going to actually hear from a relative of the man that was shot today. And uh, not surprisingly, her story is a little bit different than what from police are telling us. But we'll have that coming up tonight at 5.